It's mysterious, it's remote, it's isolated. It's the ancient Greystone Abbey on an island off the coast of Normandy. We'd seen it in so many photos and videos, we knew we had to see it for ourselves on our trip to France. Hi, this is Charmaine. And Kathy. From Charmaine and Kathy's Road. We're a happily married couple who love independent, budget-minded travel. We choose a pace that allows us to experience the people and culture of the places we visit and not just check off boxes on a bucket list. We'll share with you our impressions and recommendations about what's popular, what's quirky, and what's off the touristy path. Mont Saint Michel is about 230 miles from Paris. We rented a car so we could visit several places in the French countryside. We arrived near 8.30 p.m. just in time to see the stunning abbey on the island at sunset. It was blustery, misty, and cold, but we saw a perfect rainbow, a sign of good things to come. Our bed and breakfast was in the countryside just two miles from Mont Saint-Michel. We arrived late and our hostess let us know that if we needed dinner, the best local restaurant would close soon. Her recommendation, the gourmandise, was tiny and authentically French. We had excellent galettes, buckwheat crepes, mine with ham, eggs and cheese, and Charmaine's with goat cheese, potatoes, walnuts, and honey. For dessert, we split a crepe with caramel butter sauce. The staff was super friendly too, so it was a perfect experience. After dinner, we checked into our small, but very clean and comfortable room. The next morning, we awoke to a blue sky and beautiful countryside views from our patio. At our breakfast, we were greeted by our hostess, Danielle, and her cheery assistant, Evelyn. They served us orange juice, a variety of French breads and jams, and a plate of cheese, along with good strong coffee and a pitcher of hot milk. We totally recommend the Chambre d'Hôte Le Vieille de Gay. You know, we looked up that name and found that it means bed and breakfast of the old dykes. What are the odds of that? We love their breakfast, the nearness to Mont Saint-Michel, and the outstanding hospitality of their staff. After breakfast, we paid to park and then caught the free shuttle to take us to the Abbey. Hey, we're at Mont Saint-Michel, Normandy, France. The iconic uh, abbey and monastery that's been here for years. It's usually cut off by the tide at times of day, but now they've built a bridge, so we can get over here most of the day. And without perfect knees, we're going to try to get to the top of that and see the abbey. With clouds scuttling across the sky, seabirds wheeling through the air, and the smell of the ocean, we felt immediately as if we were in a different world. The tide was out, and the mud flats extended for miles in all directions. It's a long, steep climb of cobblestone streets to one of France's most iconic sites, the Abbey of Mont Saint Michel. No elevators or escalators here, just step after steep step past quaint shops, restaurants, and hotels. After that, our ascent got steeper as we climbed stone stairways to the place where we bought our tickets. Here we could pause, catch our breath, and take in the view. Admission was 11 euros, that's $12.35. The audio tour was 3 euros. In the next few hours, we prowled around checking out the Abbey Chapel and reception rooms with the huge arched naves, stained glass, and carved figures. Mont Saint-Michel has a long and complex history. It was a monastery in the 8th century. The Romanesque style church was designed in the 11th century and built in the 12th. Benedictine monks lived there from 966 until the 1700s. During the French Revolution, Mont Saint-Michel was a prison. It remained a prison until 1863. One remnant of this time is a huge wooden wheel. Six prisoners would have walked inside that wheel like human hamsters so that supplies could be moved from their floor to the one above. World War II saw the abbey occupied by the Germans. After the war, it was restored and named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Today, monks and nuns of the Order of Jerusalem live at the Abbey. Their order has occupied it since 2001. Our recommendations on Mont Saint-Michel. First of all, it's so worth the trip. Don't miss it. 
Avoid the big crowds by going early like we did or go late in the day. Visit off season if you can. Know that you'll have lots of cobblestones and steep stairs, so wear good walking shoes. Stay at the Chambre d'Hote and eat at the Gourmandise restaurant. See the links in our description below. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video to help us get more views. Or you can follow our blog at Charmaine and Kathy's Road or find us on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.